Hello, folks, and uh, welcome back. I am John Nigerian, and this is Three at Three. If you are watching us live, then you are a subscriber to one of our unusual option activity products. That's why you get this show live at 3 p.m. If you are not a subscriber, you are watching this delayed at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern or a little after that, uh, which means that some of the uh, option activity you will not be able to avail yourself of uh, because uh, the options stop trading at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So anyway, let's get you uh, to join Unusual Option Activity or UOA Live. Um, and you can do that by going to marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA Live. That's U for unusual, A, uh, O for options, A for activity, UOA Live. All right, let's get started with the final trading day of 2020 October. It is the 29th, and this is unusual activity. That was yesterday, Fisker. We talked about bullish call buying when the stock was 1520, bought the at the money calls, sold upside calls. Those upside calls seemingly are about to expire pretty close to worthless. Meanwhile, um, these calls we've already taken a nice profit out of. Fisker right now is 1605. So the calls we sold for, I don't know, 50 cents or whatever. What did they close yesterday? Let me see. Those uh, 16 calls that we sold yesterday closed at, checking now, uh, 46 cents. They are right now, at, as of this moment, trading for 12 cents. So we made money on that side. And we made money on this side, because as you can see, these 1550 calls, the right to buy it at 1550, closed at 69 cents, traded up to $1.13. It's not quite a double, but uh, you made some nice coin between these two. Um, call it pretty close to a buck on this trade. And the stock uh, is basically just up a little right now. Bang. That's how you do it. Let's take a look also at Merck. Talked about this one, stock was 85.50. 16,000 of those December 87.50 calls. Well, today the stock is 87.84, up better than $2 as you see, $2 and call it 34 cents. Nice, options are moving up faster. Just thought I'd show you that, bang. All right, let's start with today's Three at three. First one is Party City, P R T Y. Um, stock seven dollars and thirty-four cents. They're buying November seven calls. So whenever they're buying calls, we're interested. They buy four hundred thousand share equivalent. I'm interested. Following right along with this one and buying those in the money calls, thirty-four cents in the money. Again, that's uh, Party City, P R T Y. Party City, which is uh, right now trading 725. Second trade for today's three at three is Expedia. These guys have earnings due next week. EXPE, um, the calls they're buying, calls that expire the 5th of November. The earnings, I believe, are on the 3rd. Um, so uh, the stock traded down today. Let's see, where did it open? Stock opened almost 64, 164, traded down uh, from there to a low on the day of 159.80. When we saw it, stock was trading 160. They bought 8,100 of the no 160s, literally the at the money call. The stock is now 161.74. So these are $1.74 in the money. Love it when it happens that way. Um, let's see where. These calls are, I'll call them out right now to you. The 160 calls right now are trading for, uh, let's see, $7. On the lows today, they were 590. On the highs, they were 865 where they opened. Right now, they're trading seven bucks. We've already made about a buck on this trade. Bang. Let's get to the third of today's three at three, which is Starbucks. Starbucks, of course, came out with earnings, S-B-U-X. 
They're paying higher labor costs. They're paying higher input costs. But the only thing they're probably not paying higher of is rent. Nonetheless, they uh, pick very desirable locations, so the rent's always problematic for them. But the stock traded all the way down from a 107.50 opening to trade down to 104.98. Uh, whoops, let's see. No, that's where it is now, 104.98. The uh, low of the day is 104. So near the low of the day, somebody steps in and buys 3,000 no 107s. You guys know the drill. I don't buy the uh, uh, higher out of the money calls. I buy at the monies. Let me give you an idea where those are trading right now. Let's see. October 29th is today. These are regular November expiry, which means that these 104 calls are trading for $2.50 right now. 107 calls are trading for $1.24. If you paid those prices right now, you would be establishing a trade for about $1.25 that could go to $3. I'd like that. Um, when I bought these calls, like I say, they were a little cheaper than they are right now um, because the stock has rallied some uh, 90 cents or so from where I got in. So let's say that these calls that I've got are up in the neighborhood of half of that, about 45 cents. And now I am selling those um, one uh, 07 calls. Bang. I do that one to one. You guys know that. But if I'm buying one, selling another, then I am uh, cutting into time decay as well as uh, volatility compression. Questions? All right. If you've got questions, I'm going to try to give you some answers to those questions. You can pose them on Twitter at John Najarian. That's at J O N N A J A R I A N. Before I do, let me just tell you something quick that you might get a kick out of. I will be speaking tomorrow at CryptoFest, C-R-Y-P-T-O-F-E-S-T, CryptoFest. This is being put on um, by my friend uh, Boris Schlossberg and uh, CryptoFest. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, he, Boris, is a super nice dude. And uh, he was nice enough to invite me to speak at CryptoFest. So I will be speaking there tomorrow morning at, um, let's see, I think 8.15 Eastern time. All right, I'll try to tweet out one more time uh, a spot how you can follow that. And I believe it is free. So let's get to the questions today. Rye Kant, and the handle is at RUP1411. Any thoughts on Twilio? Any thoughts on buying the dip or leaving it alone? Thanks. Love the service. Pro has been great for me. Um, yeah, I like it, Rye. Problem is this one doesn't trade a lot of volume. So um, I bought it, flipped it a little today, but I didn't buy the options because the volumes are just pathetic in this one. So I want to be able to get in and out with as little friction as possible. I didn't think that was possible today, so I walked away from Buying, I would have bought a call spread in Twilio, um, which is traded down hard after earnings and their um, CFO leaving. But, you know, can't kiss all the girls, as they say. Daniel Green, whose handle is at D A N I E L G R E E N, the number two. Hi, John. Following up question. When you said that you roll down, up and out, are you just rolling the short leg or the whole spread both legs? Thank you. I roll, um, generally speaking, both legs. Um, my reason for that is that I always want to have a one-to-one -one call spread on um, so that I cut into the time decay, unless it's so far out in the future or so little that I don't have to worry about that. Um, but when we're talking about rolling, that means, let's say, stocks trading 55 bucks and it goes to 58 and I had the 55.58 spread on, I would probably sell out of that spread. And if there is still activity, buy at the money, which would be the 58, and sell out of the money, probably 60 or 61, something like that. Um, that's the way that I'd play it. Or I just take the money and walk away. Bang. FPAC. 
John Najarian, can you analyze the bullish call buying in FPAC? 900,000 or whatever, 900K premium, 1 million share equivalent, uh, 10K volume over the 442 open interest. Yes, March 15 calls bought for 90 cents, 10,000 times. That's where he's getting that $900,000 number. Um, March 20 calls sold for 40 cents, which means total dollar on the table is 50 cents per spread. Um, so they've been putting on verticals in FPAC. Um, I am not in this one yet, um, but I did see it, <clears throat> pardon me, go up on the site today. I just didn't have time to trade it yet. Uh, it's a SPAC, uh, Far Peak Acquisition Corp, which is another name for a SPAC. Um, and uh, let's see, what is this SPAC trade? Um, they intend to affect a merger, share exchange, asset acquisition, or similar business combination for somebody in fintech or technology. It's fine. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, I rarely buy SPACs. Um, sometimes I buy them when there's really strong, unusual activity. This is repeat activity here. But generally, I would need to know more about some of their acquisition targets. Um, so no, I'm not in this one. Sorry, Crypto Buzz, whose handle is Crypto Elephant 9. Don't miss the live stream, folks. If you would like to get this live every business day, then you got to be a subscriber to Unusual Option Activity or UOA. We have several products that fit that bill. You can go check them out at marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA live. You get weekly trades, you get webinars that are free for you, and a trading community where you can post up ideas as well as questions to the assembled masses. You can also dial us up, 888-809-8058. That's 888-809-8058. Dial us up, we'll be happy uh, to take your call and to answer your questions about the services. Again, there are several. If one is too much for you, either in cost or in trades, you can downgrade to another one and pay less and get a little less in the way of number of trades per day. You can go to marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA live. All right, that's going to do it for us today, folks. As I say, I will tweet a link to CryptoFest. I'll be speaking at 8.15 Eastern time tomorrow about crypto with my friend Boris Schlossberg, and I look forward to seeing you then. Adios.